Alright guys, using my cell phone camera today, because uh, my regular camera needs new batteries. Alright, well if you'll notice, I now have two Ford keys on my ring here. Yep, no more keyless startups. So I'll still have to have the old ignition key to unlock the doors, but I now have to have a key to start it. My bad thing is, whenever you go back to accessory, sometimes whenever you come back up and take the key out, the radio and stuff still stays on, and you just gotta barely dump it, and it goes out. So yeah. yeah, I do kind of like it better this way, but it is still just a little bit stiff. Oh, I just gonna have to start using this cell phone more often since I can recharge it. Can't recharge the other crap. Well, yesterday I tried to fix this thing a little bit better and I poured water down the carb while it was running, trying to blow some carbon out of it. It worked a little bit, but not as much as I hoped. Then I poured MMO down the carb. And uh, now it doesn't knock as bad, but it's still pretty rattly. Right now, we're just gonna let this thing sit here and warm up for a couple of minutes, and we're gonna flood it. I do like that thing, but it's not genuine forward like. Instead of being rounded at the edges, this one here is squared off, and the keys say for Ford cars. It don't say it don't have the little logo in it. Cause I can just get on eBay and buy some of them. Like how about them Chrysler Jeep keys for the Wagoneer? That's easy to do. Yeah, and then my shifter seems a little bit looser now because that. The guy that we had come up here and do it had to tear the steering column apart practically. Oh, by the way, I don't know how good this will sound on the cell phone, but yeah, I'll show you. We'll see forward since I don't like messing up the cover. Got a sub in it now. I think it's a 10 inch. It's a Jensen. It's a pretty good brand, really. Of course, they're also the people that made the radio for the, the original radio for the Jeeps, and mine broke, so. to get to the cell phone but bought it for eight bucks off of Joey but apparently for some reason he's trying to be my friend again and you know I can't argue with like eight dollars for a for a sub and a couple of good 300 watt pyramid speakers All right, we're probably warmed up pretty good now. All right, had to sink run up for a while today.
right, here we go. Try that one again. Like that down, I mean, no, no, no. There we go. There we go, that's a good save. And it didn't take too long to line back up. I love these racing pills still. This thing's such a nice look. My floors might rot out soon since the door's leak, I need to fix that. There goes my uncle. And his I think 2004 STX F-150, 5.4. I'm going to have to flood this thing more often. I, I kind of like doing that. It's just too bad I can't do it with the wagon here. I think there, there there's no flood in it. You either, you can either start it or you can pump the gas a couple too many times and you ain't going anywhere. Therefore, I don't really like to flood it. It's kind of cold out here today, too. We could have just said it this Well, not really because I had it started earlier, but it could have been a cold start. I love the sound of that old Ford starter turning over too. Brakes still go a little bit too far down. Uh, but whatever. Get it. Alright. Catch y'all later.